Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a Western Kentucky field where two big Case Hides quad tracks are working together to plant corn. This team of tractors includes a 470 horsepower model and a 620 horsepower model. The 470 quad track is preparing the seed bed ahead of the planter with a John Deere 2310 mulch finisher. The 620 quad track is operating a Case IH 2160 early riser planter, seeding the new corn crop in the ground. During this video, I will take you out in the field and up in the cab of the tractor so that you can see them at work. I'll also visit with their operators to talk about the corn planting process and the performance of the machines. If you're interested in the production history, specifications, and original price tag of these tractors, watch the video all the way to the end screen where there are links to two additional Big Tractor Power videos on the 470 and 620 quad tracks. Now let's head out to the field so you can see and hear these big machines at work. I'm up in the cab of the Case IH Quad Track 470 and it's working on spring tillage here ahead of the corn planter and it's operating a 39 foot 9 inch John Deere 2310 soil finisher and it's working up this ground nicely. There's a lot of spring weeds out here and it's turning them over to make the seed bed. The tractor is using Case IH's AFS Auto guidance here we can see the tractors making that 39 foot pass and as we come up to the headland Hale will turn the tractor around and as soon as it gets back on its heading the auto guidance takes over again so the tractor is traveling at just over seven miles per hour across the field here Hell, how do you how do you like this quad track? I like it really well. Nice smooth tractor. Yeah, really rolls across the field nicely. It rolls across the field nicely. Smoother than tires. <laughs> <laughs> so how how deep in the ground is the soil finisher working? Uh, Somewhere between two and three inches. Okay. Well, it, it turns everything over out there pretty well. See the tractor uh, has these the corner post here with all the instrumentation uh, controls here on the armrest of the seat. And one thing a lot of people ask about is when you're out in the field on the outside, you see this really large muffler. And while it is large uh, from the operator's seat, it's really not even invisible. It's hidden by that corner post, so there's great visibility out the front. You have the two-stage mirror here where you can see the implement and the tracks of the tractor and then good visibility out the back window of the operation.
case you go to sleep. Sure. <laughs> and we can see also the tractor is very tight turning. The implement follows right behind. The quad track and the soil finisher are making a primary and secondary tillage pass all in one. We can see the weeds and the soybean residue here. The ground's pretty hard. Weeds are just pulling right out of the ground. You can see the 2310 is breaking up the weeds, uprooting them, burying the residue. We can see this mustard weed is completely dislodged, turned over, and the soil is worked up nicely. So it's doing that primary tillage pass, breaking up the surface, and then it also firms up the seed bed ahead of the planter. cab of the Case IH 620 Quadra and it's planting corn with a 2160 early riser planter and that is a 24 row 30 inch corn planter and a 47 row 15 inch soybean planter. Today it's putting corn in the ground. The tractor is on auto guidance using Case IH AFS Connect and you can see it's right now on an autopilot driving itself across the field. And as we approach the headland, uh, then the operator will turn it around. You can see it's a tight turning tractor and planter. And now it's back on the auto of guns, making another perfect 60 foot pass. The tractor is running at just under 6 miles per hour. The operator has a good view of the entire field and a lot of people often ask about the big muffler on the outside which you can see here but from the inside in the driver's seat there isn't really any visibility issue whatsoever with that. Uh, the tractor also has a two-stage mirror here where you can see the planter in the back as well as the tracks of the tractor. Danny, how do you like uh, running this uh, plot track for planting? I really like it. It's really smooth. Plenty of power. It's heat up with power. It's a lot, lot, lot over the 470. We got a 470 also and it's it's way better than the 470 as far as power wise but the quad tra we've had both quad tracks and road tracks the quad tracks is no comparison to the ride uh with the road tracks it's just way better way better than wheels four wheel drive or front wheel assist either one as far as my opinion you know rough ground and little ditches and stuff like that it just it's way better this is a fairly rough field out here today the tractor yeah, just work slide real over good. it. It didn't work real good, got a lot of grass on it. It's one reason I'm running a little slower than I usually do. But uh, yeah, I mean it, it just glides right along, does great. Well, it's definitely nice to have a two-in-one planter to do the double crop beans and the corn. Oh yeah, yeah. It does a good wide. job. Yeah, you you know you can cover some ground with 60 foot, especially in the beans also, you know. I've also noticed it must be a pretty heavy planter because out here in this rougher ground it's not leaving any seed on the surface. Everything's getting down where it belongs. I think they claim it weighs like 48,000 pounds or something like that. So it's pretty yeah. heavy. Doesn't hurt to have a 620 quad track in front exactly. of it. Exactly. Especially getting a little muddy holes like I was in while ago when it was pushing up mud in front of the tires. It never did even know it. It just rolled right on through. Yeah, that's pretty good. And how, how many acres uh, are you covering between refills? I usually don't put in but about 
probably 4,000 pounds of seed somewhere in there. So, you know, you can cover 150 acres easy. You can probably put close to enough in to do 250 fairly easy, but you know what? As the planter is being filled up, we can take a look at these row units. So we have 47 row units here. Here is number 47. And when they're planting corn, just the every other row unit is down and engaged in the soil. And then when they're planting beans, number 46 and the other ones will drop down and plant that 15 inch space for the soybeans, 30 inch on the core. you've enjoyed spending time out in the field and up in the cab with these Case IH quad track tractors. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video what type of tractors and implements you're running this spring to seed your crops. If you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.